name plate so the if you look at the any appliances at your home the wattages of the all the equipments will be mentioned uh, either at the bottom of the appliance or back of the appliance or uh, there will be name plate uh, there will be name plate on it you will find the power rating so the watt wattage listed is the maximum power drawn by the appliance so whatever the wattage listed on the name plate uh, that is the maximum power drawn by uh, that is maximum power drawn by the particular appliance since many appliances have a range of settings for example the volume volume on, uh, volume on a radio the actual amount of power consumed depends on the setting used at any one time for example uh, if you take the fan the power consumed by the fan depends on the the speed at which the fan is running you can control the speed of the uh, fan right so if the fan fan is running at the ma maximum speed the power consumed will be maximum like that many appliances have a range of settings or a refrigerator although the uh, refrigerator if you turn on uh, it is turned on all the time actually right so actually cycles on and off at a rate that depends on a number of factors so these factors includes how well it is insulated room temperature freezer temperature how often the door is open if the coils are clean or uh, if the defrosted regularly and the condition of the door seals so to get the approximate figure of number of hours that a refrigerator actually operates at its maximum wattage divide the total time the refrigerator is plugged in by 3 so the this table here this table here represents the uh, uh, the uh, power ratings of different household appliances these are the appliances general appliances and these are the wattage range so if you look at the clock radio it consumes around 10 watts coffee maker it is 900 to 1200 watts uh, cloth washer that is washing machine 352 to 500 watts cloth dryer 1800 to 5000 watts dish washer 1200 to 2400 Hair dryer 1200 to 1875 watts. Microwave oven it is 752,100 watts. Laptop 50 watts. Uh, refrigerator 725 watts. 36 inch television it is 133 kilo 133 watt. And toaster 800 to 1400 watts. And water heater 4500 to 5500 watts. So you can find the power ratings of any appliances in your room. either at the back of the appliance or on name plate next uh, let us see the definition of the unit which is used for the consumption of the electrical energy so uh, you might have heard the energy is measured in terms of units in our homes energy is measured in terms of the consumption of energy is measured in terms of units yes, right so let us see what is that unit is called so one unit of electricity and is nothing but it is amount of electrical energy consumed by the load of 1 kilowatt the amount of electrical energy consumed by the load of 1 kilowatt power in 1 hour it is amount of electrical energy consumed by the load 1 kilowatt power in 1 hour so it is basically measurement of the unit of electrical energy uh, consumption in joules so 1 kilowatt hour is 1 kwh 1 kilowatt hour and one unit are same so one unit is general is equal to 1 kilowatt hour one unit of energy is equal to 1 kilowatt hour so which means if you consume the 1 kilowatt of uh, power in 1 hour then it is termed as one unit of energy is consumed so one unit of energy is equal to 1 kilowatt hour 1 kilowatt into 1 hour right so 1 kilowatt means it is 1000 watts into 1 hour means you will be having 3600 seconds so if you uh, take it in terms of joules it is watts per second is joules so 3.6 into 10 power 6 joules so one unit of electricity is equal to 3.6 into 10 power 6 joules so this is the uh, unit of electrical energy consumption i'll stop here we'll continue in the next session thank you